95% of customers read reviews. A small business truly lives or dies by them. Conversion is the number one thing that most websites struggle with. And data shows that reviews can increase conversions by 44%. So in today's video, I'll show you how to add testimonials to your Squarespace website to increase conversions. I will cover how to use Squarespace and add reviews manually, how to import reviews, and how to add reviews from other platforms like Google or Facebook. If you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Ksenia and I'm a brand and website designer. And here I share Squarespace website design and marketing tips and tutorials for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. And the very first way to add reviews to your website is by adding them manually. I'm logged into Squarespace website, navigate to create a new page or add to a already existing page. And then we're going to click edit and add a new section, scroll all the way to this section over here. This is the collection section here under the content and navigate from elements to content. You see that we can host multiple elements that are going to be connected inside this one section, which is perfect for our uh, review. Click on a design, make it as a carousel under the elements. I want to show the body here. This is going to be an image. This is going to be our main testimonial and this area over here. This is where we will write the name of the person who gave the testimonial type name here. And I'm going to do this for all the testimonials. Next, log into Canva and I'm going to create stars reviews under the elements. I'm going to type star and then I'm going to show you different stars available. I'm going to just select this one. I'm going to make it something like this because that's the most common uh, color used for, for star reviews and duplicated and here I need one more. So I'm duplicating it again, select all of it. And then under the position, I want to make sure that horizontally they space evenly, make it a little smaller. Here. Perfect. Download, use a transparent background, increase the size back testimonial page. And I'm going to upload the stars instead of the image. You can use that image to showcase an image of the person who gave you the review, but most of the times we don't actually have the images of the people who leave reviews. So I'm just going to use the stars. It looks good. And now from here, from the content, navigate to the design and under the image crop, we want to select this white selector and then under size and space media width, click this three dots and make it a small one, just like that. Currently we're displaying three reviews, but I feel like it's a little too tight for them. So I'm going to remove one. I'm just going to display two under the size and space under the space between elements. We can also adjust the sizing below the stars and then below over here on a top of our reviews. So we want to push it down and the way we can do it is go to size and spacing is go to style. And here under the arrows, instead of the center, we want to display it at the bottom, just like that. Let's preview it. Now, if I click arrows, it, we're just going to navigate between all of the reviews that we are displaying. The second option, if you have an actual store, like I have here on Squarespace under the selling and then selling tools and navigate to product reviews. Someone left me a review. The way you can enable that for your store is by going into settings and then going onto the selling. First scroll to the product reviews. And here you want to enable the request for the product reviews and you want to enable the email notification and save. It's going to be a automatic populated email that will be sent to a customer after they purchase a product from you. The next option, if you already have a lot of reviews somewhere else, for example, on Google or Facebook, you can add those reviews and embed them into your website. I'm going to use this extension elf site. You can find the link to all of the softwares and websites I'm going to be using in the description below. Navigate to reviews. We have Google reviews, all in one reviews, Facebook, Amazon, Airbnb, etc. Let's try the Google reviews. Select the template to start with. You can preview how it's going to look. Let's do this one. There is way more options for you to select. 
continue with this template and here you want to type your business name i'm going to just type the name of this massage near me and i'm going to click seattle and this is the massage near me it displays all of their google reviews you can also add a filter like you might want to just showcase the five-star reviews, four-star reviews. There is like a few filters you can navigate over here. And you want to add this to your website. Continue with Google. Click Publish. Select whichever the option is best for you. I'm going to copy this code. Here, we're going to add a blank section. Look for the code. And then we're going to highlight all of it. And just paste the code over here. And this is our embedded code save and exit and as we preview it we have our reviews populated we can scroll through them you can also click and write a review and it's going to navigate back to this massage page on google and the third option would be to use another app not sure how you pronounce that this app that allows you to request and showcase it on your website testimonials but not only for the products, let's say you, you don't have products on your website. Let's say you have just services or maybe you're offering some freebies. Let's sign up for this. We inside, and there's a few things I want to point out. So first you can import testimonial. Like if you already have some saved up from the previous customers, you can add them here. You can also add them from a different apps that you might, that your business might be using which is also very useful. This is the form, collect your testimonial. Here's our, here's our form. We can click edit. And here you can add your logo, add your colors, customize the text over here and buttons and basically everything that you see over here, you can customize it. And then here under the testimonials, this is where you're gonna be managing your testimonials and the one that people are submitting. This is an example testimonial that we can share. Let's share it on our website. Copy it at the blank page and look for the code. Let's do a darker background. This is how it will look if we embed this testimonial. i show you the examples of how the testimonials could look on your page. Here's a very great example on their own website. And it also shows where this testimonial has been taken from. So this one is from Facebook and this one, obviously it was just manually written. This is from Twitter and it's just great, neat way to show social proof to customers who visit your website. This would be a great choice if you have a testimonials like sort of all over the place. I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, please leave the comment below. Thank you.